Because Sunday school is where we are fed. It's where we are serviced. Hallelujah. Amen. So it is very important to gather together. Without any waste of time, let's read our Bible in the book of Isaiah chapter 6. From verse 1. Those that were not here last time were preached to a priest about the message influence. And we just want to continue on it. We will see how the Lord leads us. We will, we will see how far we can go with it. Maybe we can go up to 10 services. Hallelujah. Amen. In the year that King Uzziah died, I saw also the Lord sitting upon a throne, high and lifted up, and his train filled the temple. Above it stood the seraphims, each one had six wings. With twain he covered his face, and with twain he covered his feet. And with twain he did fly, and one cried unto another and said, Holy, holy is the Lord of hosts, the whole earth is full of his glory. The posts, the posts of the door moved at the voice of him that cried, and the house was filled with smoke. Then said I, as I speaking, who is me, for I am undone? Because I'm a man of unclean lips, and I dwell in the midst of people of unclean lips. Mm. For my eyes have seen the King, the Lord of hosts. Mm. Then flew one of the seraphims unto me, having a life coal in his hand, mm. which he had taken with the tongs from off the altar. And he laid it upon the mouth and said, Lo, this have touched thy lips. And thy iniquity is taken away, and thy sin perished. Yes. And I, also I heard a voice of the Lord saying, Who shall I send, and who will go for us? Then I, then said I, Here I am, send me. Let's bow our heads. Lord Jesus, we have learned the word of you. That is as far as we can go. That is our capability and ability. But Father God, the interpretation thereof lies within you. We don't want to interpret your word because Lord, thousand people will have thousand interpretations. Yes. But when the interpretation comes from He who knows the word, Father God, it will be perfect, it will be absolute, O Lord. We depend upon Thee for inspiration, we depend upon Thee for anointing, Lord. Because we don't want to rely solely on the gift. Because Father God, That's gift right. can be more certain, O oh Lord, yes, if it's not possible. channeled by God. Yes. We right. want you to channel the gift. We want you to anoint the gift, O oh Lord. Because when anointing comes upon it, Father God, it, it, it plays a vital role in the hearts of your children. It changes their lives, it changes their hearts, it changes their thought, and ultimately, Lord Father, it molds their character. Mm. We pray, Lord Father, come and take preeminence. Move me out of the picture, O oh Lord, and speak yes. to your children. In Jesus' name we thank you. Amen. Amen. You might take the comfort of your seat. Yeah. Yeah. I, 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 I almost forgot, but if you are there, 
I'll see you before we preach. So that I can also pass an announcement from Brother Donald. So when we were making announcements, only then I remembered. Brother Donald also is working today. He called me as we coming to check. So let's remember him in prayers. And the family, they went to Pastor Timothy Muta. He's there in social media. So God which you bless you. Uh, we, we, we read in the book of Isaiah where we see uh, 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 the Bible opens with a man called Uzziah. Uzziah. Who was a king. Oh, yo and if you want to read about him in the books of uh, Kings, which is the book of Chronicles. Uh, the book of Chronicles and the book of Kings speaks about the acts of Kings. And how they reigned and what duration and their behavior. So we realize that the young man became a king at the age of 16 years. So you understand when you are called for something, age does not even matter. Hallelujah. So if you are called for something, God does not even care about the age. Uh, David was not even 20 years when he was anointed a king. Hallelujah. Amen. So we realize that this man, was was influenced by the way his father lived and reigned. Because you need to understand that uh, you have to understand a uh, 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 kingship that day. Yes. It was going from father to his sons and grandchildren, so on and so forth. Because Boroshi was in the blood. Because of uh, kingship was in the blood. Hallelujah. Amen. So that hence we are called kings and priests. Because when we are born again, we become sons and daughters of God. In fact, we don't become. We realize that we are sons and daughters of God. And in our veins flows the blood of the mighty king. So, you see, to be a Christian, Brother Malachi did not have to preach a sermon to you. You see, to be a Christian, no one had to convince you with fellowship. You were a Christian before you were born. You just needed to be brought into realization of who you really are. Hallelujah. Amen. So you see, we cannot even desire to be angels. No, sir. Who wants to be an angel? Maybe I should have started by the Christian. We cannot even desire to be like angels. We don't desire to be seraphims. We don't desire to be cherubims. Because all those angels and cherubims. They, they were not created in the image of God. Hence, there were no redemption for them when they fell. Hallelujah. So, but you realize that a son of God and a child of God was created in the image of God. So, the God, when he fell, God brought everything to stand still and come down at a fast. He looked for Adam. Because the image of Adam was God himself. So when Adam fell, God fell. So it left God incomplete. So God had to bring everything to stand still and come down seeking after men. The same thing he did in the end times when his images fell into darkness and all these dark God had to bring everything to stand still. And 
and go. And the Bible says there was an half an hour silence. Praise be the name of the Lord. Why? Because there was no one to worship on the throne. God was down seeking his children, saying, Where are you? Coming down to bring the way. Calling them in the same way. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. So there was no redemption for angels. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. You see, Brother Brandon put this like this. He says there are seraphims. There are seraphims. Which are higher angels above the cherubims and the angels. So their duty was to offer sacrifices. That's why you see cherubim appearing after Isaiah making confession. Coming down with a life call. It's because after he made a confession and it means that there was sacrifice made for him by Charabis. Hallelujah. The, the sacrifice that represented him. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. So then the uh, cherubims, cherubim. is seraphims, cherubim. cherubims, cherubim, and angels. Now those three they are different. The seraphims has and cherubims has six wings. And the angels don't have wings. And they're in categories also. Hallelujah. Amen. So the angels that are messengers, they are angels that are heavenly. And Serving different purposes. So, as great as they are, the Michaels and the Womud, they cannot be compared to a son and a daughter of God. Let, let us put it like that. Like like that. that. You see, a magnet, magnet is only accepted to steal. Everything else repents. Uh, uh, if you put it against something else, you don't stick. Hallelujah. Amen. Why? Because it is designed with the elements that only attract the steel. Now, a human body is built with 16 elements. The same 16 elements. Are found on the earth. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. And and we know them. Uh, the uh, I got them from the internet. Yeah. Well, oxygen. internet. Oxygen. Carbon. Le carbon. Hydrogen. Hydrogen. Nitrogen. Nitrogen. Calcium. Calcium. Phosphorus. Phosphorus. Potassium. Potassium. Sulfur. 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 Sodium. Sodium. Now do need a counting. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Sodium, sodium, uh, chlorine, chlorine, and magnesium. Le magnesium. Hallelujah. Amen. So these are some of elements that are found on earth. And they form the 16 elements. And they form the 16 elements. That forms the body. The body that is sitting here. So you see, for this body to survive, it has to survive from things that come from where it comes from. Hallelujah. Amen. The Food comes from the 16 elements F. The yodi draw 16 elements in all the to feed the 16 element body. And we'll have a million 16 elements. You see, if you take this Bible and give it food, it don't work. The longer job you will have a yodi show me. If you take a car and put soil in a car, you don't know. If you take a paraffin petrol, you don't know. 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 You
You just kiss it a bomb, it will explode. So everything has to go inside the compatibility. Hallelujah. So the body is compatible to the earth. That's why when you die, you go back to the earth, the body. Because that's where it originated. That's why for this body to live, it has to be sustained by the earth. Because the elements that are in the body are in the earth. Praise be the name of the Lord. Amen. So, God, Brother Brennan teaches us that in God were logos. In God were elements. In God were characteristics. He wanted to be a healer. He wanted to be a savior. He wanted to be a redeemer. But this element, God would work on angels because of the compatibility. And angels don't come from God. Because they had to be compatibility. He says that the, 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 the dark represented meekness, meekness in the heavenlies. The lamb represented meekness on the earth. So meekness must come upon meekness. Love the earth. Love upon love. Amen. Kindness upon kindness. There had to be compatibility. Brother Brennan calls that the greatest advent that has ever been displayed on the earth. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know, according to science, the greatest advent was when, when men converted the power from the horse into automobility. Then from the horse power to, 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 to the Red Brothers, the aeroplane. Which is the sky. And from the sky to the moon. Mm -hmm. And in technology, we know from World Wide Web 0, 1, 2, now we are into the rain. Amen. Amen. So, science called that the greatest advent 
that has ever happened on earth. But Brother Branham says the greatest advent is when a dove came up in a limb. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. My brother, you can you can you can look for it. It's in the message. Spiritual adoption. adoption. Spiritual adoption. We project. As, as we continue on. Amen. So it continues on. He says, Why is the greatest advent? He says, Because the heavenlies were uniting with the earthly. He says, The heavens was embracing the earth. So, how to see from the dark coming down, meekness to meekness, after that, the speech of Jesus was not, not ever, never the same. Now that dove influenced the speech and the actions of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. The speech and the actions of Jesus. That's why when he did things, he said, I do nothing unless the Father show me. Amen. He said, I do nothing unless the Father show me. Let the Father show me. Can't tell what I am going to. If it is, full stop. Okay, okay full stop. Okay. So now you realize that the spirit of a dove in him was showing him how to act and how to speak. So Jesus was the embodiment being the lamb of the spirit representing God. So the heavens once again has impressed the earth. So the control tower was, was not from earth, but it was from heaven. Amen. Amen. What was this representing? There shall come a time where the heavens and the earth embrace in the form of mankind. We have to come to a point where you will unite with your maker and you become the control tower. Right? He influences your speech, he influences your decisions. And we realize that that, 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 that Supernatural event took place in the upper room. And it was restored in Azusa Street. Ah. And restored again in the end time. Yeah, in the name of the Lord. Amen. So we are living in a wonderful supernatural age. We have to be aware of the time we are living in. That's what we said last time. When the book of Genesis Open. We see if man in an image of God. Then he falls. When the New Testament opened, we see God coming down in the image of man to redeem him back to where he should be. Now, when the book of Revelation opens, we see both man and God coming together. We see him or her molded in him. Pray in the name of the Lord. Amen. We see the bride molded in him. And when the bride is molded in him, he becomes your thoughts. Amen. He becomes your speech. He becomes your actions. You are controlled and guided by him. Brother Branham says, I do not attach that quote, but I'm going to quote it. He says, You have to take God's thoughts in your carnal mind and repeat them over and over and over. Until they become one with you. Yes. Praise Amen. The name of the Amen. Lord. He said, if you are sick, you must take God's healing thoughts. Repeat those thoughts of healing. Repeat Isaiah 53. 
and say he was wounded for my transgression. He was bruised for my iniquity. The chastisement of our peace or my peace is upon him. And with his stripes I'm healed. So you repeat those thoughts until they become on with you. And if you are a fearful individual, you repeat the thought of 2 Timothy chapter 1. For I'm given the spirit of love, the spirit of power, the spirit of sound mind. I'm not given the spirit of fear. Praise be the name of the Lord. Amen. Because that's only the spirit that the devil captures the children of God. Hey, what if I am scared? I will, I will lose my job. What am I going to do? My children going to eat. You are always just so fearful. Start reading 7 Timothy. Chapter 1. We are given, we are not given the spirit of fear. But we are given the spirit of love. Of love. Of love. Because love cast out doubt and fear. Of power. Oh, amen. And of sound mind. So when you feel weak, you must, you must call the thought of God into your mind. Seven Corinthians chapter twelve. Corinthians already twelve. My grace is sufficient for me. My, his grace is sufficient for me. My strength is made perfect in weakness. That's the thought you should be thinking about when you're weak. Because our thinking has to be influenced by the way. Because there are things that influence our lives and we must get rid of them. There are things that influence our decisions and we must get rid of them. So everything must be influenced by the way. Not motivational books. Not motivational speech. Even the preaching is not a motivational speech. motivational speech. Because motivational speech should make you feel good for that time. After that, you go to your normal state. But the word of God changes your heart. Change your thoughts. Lady yeah. Pray yeah. in the name of the Lord. Yeah. Amen. So if there be any virtue, think on this thing. Yes. If there be any praise, think on this thing. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. So the devil will tell you that you know what you you are not redeemed, you, you are not loved, and you yeah. isolate you. Mm. Tell him straight, get God's thoughts into your head, repeat them to your carnal mind. Heaven, you are lying. I'm loved. I'm redeemed. I'm chosen. I'm bought with a high price. I'm redeemed by the blood of Jesus. So the devil must never lie to you. So let, let's let the word of God be an influence in our lives. Healing thoughts. The thought of God. Pray with the name of the Lord. Amen. So we realize that Abraham Lincoln. Abraham Lincoln. Abraham Lincoln says he was one of the unique presidents. He said that man, there was a book that he read. One book. The Bible. He said that Bible was an influence of all decisions that he made. He said, and Abraham Lincoln was patterning after Uzziah. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. You see, now you have to realize, children of God, that the decisions that you make in your life, you have to be guided by the book, which is the way. Anything that outside the word, you reject it. 
Anything outside the word, you don't accept it. So everything we do, the word must be an influence. Because there's someone who's watching. Someone who's watching your life. Someone is pretending after your life. So whatever decision you make, eternal destination of an individual lies upon that decision. Whatever actions you do, there's somebody who's eternal destination is dependent on those actions. So you, you really have to be careful. You see, the high priest in the Old Testament, when he went into the Holy of Holies, the entire Israelite salvation was lying upon his actions there. Amen. Because he was taking offerings for all of them, the whole nation. So if secretly he was sinning, the whole Israel was affected. You see, even the actions that you do secretly has dire consequences. Even on others. So he's going into the Holy of Holies. The people were watching nervously. Waiting, listening. Because you realize that there was something that were tied to empower Kinney's brother calls them. So they were making noise as you go into the Holy of Holy. Because Brother says where the presence of God is, there is noise. In the Holy of Holies, there is noise. That's why we worship the way we do. That's why we amen the word of God. Because there is noise in the presence of God. Our worship has become different. We don't worship like denominations. Where the, 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 the spirit comes down. And everyone is in the spirit. And they are crying and falling down. Then they go out and live like little devils. Our, 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 our worship is based upon the revelation that came down. Because our worship brings everything to stand still. It brings the heavens into stand still. It brings the, the other heavens into it brings the earth to stand still. It is yellow fast or lame. Again, the Bible that says, Isn't that Bible hearing after John saw those things? Everything in heaven on earth and underneath heard him say yeah. holy 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 our God almighty so it means for them to hear him they came to stand still because the worship was upon what was revealed at that time any worship without the revelation of the word is from the revelation of the word is from home it is still a worship but it is from come. Because true worship comes upon the revelation of the way. And from come sometimes looks more real than the original. Hallelujah. Amen. False gold looks more original and shining than true gold. Because we know false gold is semi gold. Gold. It's all the elements of gold that makes uh, false gold. The only thing Brother Bram says is that they did not combine enough to make the solid genome. The worship of uh, Cain looked more real than the worship of Eden. Amen. Hey, and you can imagine. Well, you, 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 you,
Canaan, she was put into Abel. Let's see near my brother. The day you eat from this tree shall surely die. The fruit of this tree. You see? It was fruits that were eaten. Yeah. Look at my old time. Why not look how messy you are? Do you think God is going to accept that? So, Abel, okay. Scripturally, uh, you was right. Amen. <laughs> hey. no, I'm telling you, it was, it was verse upon verse. Yeah. Scripturally, uh, he was right. right. But you have to understand that the true worship comes from the revelation of those scriptures. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. So for the Bible says the latter killer, but the spirit giveth life. So revelation is the spirit coming to that letter and give it life. So it is with Abel. It was with Abel. It was with Abel. He listened to the scripture. And the scripture the day you eat out of the fruit of this tree shall surely die. Mama, I And the scripture says, the day you eat out of the fruit of this tree shall surely die. Mama, I read to you, I will not even just say what I want. This does not make sense. I was saying, I see the, I see the mobile mobile. Why after they eat this tree now, this pregnancy now? Who read the Quran or why is it that they don't even know? No, yeah. They eat the fruits now. I'm here. My brother is here. You know, the the guy that you want to show, you know, no, this does not make sense. I see the Taliban. Then something said to him, man. Well, this is my Sarah woman. They became naked after they ate. I'm sure the father was explaining to him, say, my child, after we ate, we became naked. So Cain okay, was put to one plus two. I was put to one plus one. And it did not make sense. Then like, did explain after you 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 age you became naked. We are just trying to dramatize you so that the little ones can get it. Yeah. Uh, so did after you ate, you became naked? Yes, my child, I became naked. We just saw ourselves naked. So then after that, uh, the my meal was uh, had a big stomach. Yes, my child, there was there was a big stomach. Then after that, then we came. You know, after this uh, a, a big time, then uh, we ratulem. Mm. Yes, my child, you came like that. Eh, when I go to let you run. But did God say it must come like that? But Anna, would you move to the country? He said, no, God did not say it must come like that. But I am, would you move to the country? Then something came up when he. You know, since when Santa went and he started asking Dad, I told him which day. He said, Dad, you how how were you created? Are Papa not going to be a ham? He said, God spoke the word and I was created in his image. Then something said to Abel, children are supposed to be born by spoken word. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. So this other way is of the devil. So it means that Tell me, did you? What, what, what did God say after that? Hey, my child, God said to us, the heels of the woman shall bruise the head of the serpent. The heels of the woman shall bruise the head of the serpent. Oh, the head of no. no. Hey, then did he add after that? Ah, Namile, did he? What did he say after that? He said, "From you shall give birth in pain." And when I not have any more trouble, then he said, "Did it means there was no pain before?" And I heard that I promise no more trouble. So giving birth in pain, we are not have any more trouble. Was from as a punishment. Kori iti lega mukawa yona koto, and they shall come. A seed from a woman that will, that will prove what the serpent has done. Something said to him, You know what? Slaughter a lamb. Slaughter a lamb on top of a stone. 
And I will accept the sacrifice. So he did that. Contrary to scriptures. Amen. Praise be the name of the Lord. Amen. The person that was read to the scripture was Cain. But this, the letter killeth. The spirit giveth life. So we realize that. The same thing is happening today. Millions of churches are preaching the letter. They are preaching the letter. But we are concerned about what the Spirit says about that letter. Amen. Because the only worship is upon the true revelation of who God is. Amen. Amen. So we, we, we really thank God for the message of the hour. Amen. Amen. Because it influences our worship. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Amen. So we realize that from there it has always been about the blood. But even today, the blood is our covenant. The life that was in the blood has come into us. We worship being influenced by that life that was in the blood. So back to the high priest. The high priest, before he enters, they sprinkle blood. He's, he must sprinkle blood upon himself. Hallelujah. Amen. He must be wearing a garment. Brother says that garment is the message law and uh, law, law or grace. It was not just a garment, an average normal garment. It, it was specially tailored by special hands. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. It was a garment that was specially tailored by special hands. Because that garment was a type of the feast and invitation that Jesus spoke about as a parable. Amen. The Munyan, Munyan, or just our religion, Kawanaka Ekasikai, or that Jesus Christ spoke about in a time. Hallelujah. Amen. Saying that a king wants to make a feast or a Hoshi will add the Rana Munyan and send out invitations. Arumela na memo. So all those that came. Branham, I, I'm just jumping the story. I want to focus on this element. Branham says they were given a covenant when they entered into the place where the feast was. He said, what was the purpose of that covenant? Branham says it was an identity. It was to say that we are all equal. We are all one. A rich man and a poor man that time they looked alike. A sick man and a healthy man were wearing the same garment. A short man and tall man they were wearing the same garment. So, for princes that garment touched the Holy Spirit. So, when you accept the word of God, when you receive the Holy Ghost, you are dressed. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. So, that's why I can hug, uh, uh, Brother Brenham says, a tuxedo can hug an overall. And say, God bless you, my brother. There's no better me, better you. Big you, small me. I drive better car, you drive a small car. We understand that in the economy of God, we are all the same. Pray to the name of the Lord. So if you still think that you are better than someone else, it's a good sign you don't have the Holy Ghost. You need the covenant. Pray to the name of the Lord. Amen. So when he entered, when he entered, the pomegranates were making noise. The blood was sprinkled on him. The, the, the garment was the right one. Now they had to anoint him. 
They had to anoint him with a perfume. This perfume came from a, a rose. They, they had to squeeze the rose and take the perfume and put it upon him. So that he smells nice. Brothers and sisters, they get perfume. In the message, law of grace, and the high priest had to be anointed with the perfume made from the rose of Sharon. Sharon rose. No other perfume will do. Do you know Jesus was called the rose of Sharon? What is the rose? Where does the perfume come from? From the rose. Hallelujah. Amen. Okay, let me, I just want to jump here. Now, what does the smell do? Uh, women put perfume on themselves for a pleasant. And men put aftershave stuff on. Sometimes. Like that. That odors, foul odors, would be taken away from you. So when, when a brother is putting on perfume, doing is not uh, uh, unspiritual. Amen. Mm. Uh, when you walk into the presence of someone, oh, sorry, sorry. Uh, okay, yeah. taken. Okay, foul orders will be taken away from you. When you walk into the presence of someone, with body orders, or with something another, Perfumes is to take that order away. So that you in the presence of the person that you may not be foul. It's unbearable. So I perfume We must buy perfumes, children of God. Like about twenty even if you twenty it will make you smell. Hey, you shouldn't do it. Even Hallelujah. Amen. That's what a perfume or soap does has order in it too. Kese se trolo se wova se ebargeni se se pe si dirabo. Soap has order in it. Se se pe se nale mungkomu se kare. And you wash with it. Just kapa kapa meza fe. Galo otapa kwa na se se pasi. Not only with water. So it continues just like that. Yes. It's then after that he said, notice I just feel good. So now brother Brian then typed the order with a sweet smelling order from Christ. Because the rose that is squeezed and made a perfume. It was typing Christ that would be squeezed at the cross. Right. And so that his sweet smelling order 
could come upon his worshippers. Praise be the name of the Lord. Amen. And you will just be a, a wonderful Christian. Smelling nice spiritually. When you speak, smelling nice, speaking correct things. When, when you leave, leaving the right things. Yeah, some of the things that people say are stinky. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. 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 yeah, this one you need a spiritual perfume. Yes. The things that come from the mouth they are just stinky. Yeah. The way he leaves his actions are yeah. they need a soap. They are stinky. Hallelujah. Amen. So that was what the rose was used for. Now, Brother Branham says, and also before he goes in there, they will also take a lily. He said, What is the purpose of a lily? But the Bible, they will know it all. Yeah, biology. Uh, those who are doing biology, but I tell you, Brother says, From the lily, you get all opium. He said, what is the purpose of an opium? Is to ease the pain. He says, when someone is about to go out of their mind, they give them a shot of opium. And it brings them to sanity again. So we are living in a world where it's just insanity. The only thing that makes us sane is because we got a shot of opium. That was squeezed from the lily of the valley in Calvary. It eases the pain that we are experiencing. I get a children of God, we are child the same as unbelievers. So you are not, a, no one is exempted from anything. If an unbeliever can lose a house to the bank, you can lose a house to the bank. If an unbelieving man is tempted by women, you will be tempted by women. Same thing with women also, tempted by men. They don't even wait for the temptation and all those things. They come to you straight. The ones who these days they just go and tell you these things. Yes, sir. Yeah, they, they come to they don't even jiga jiga. jiga. Yeah. They don't even go around corners. Another one approached me. She realized this one if I waste time, you look stupid. This one you won't even propose. So when I drove into the garage. She was parked next to the pump. So I parked my car, I went inside. So when I come back, that car is not there anymore. Then it's parked next to me, my car. Then I went to my car. Then she greeted me, How are you? I said, I'm well, sister. New. She said, I'm fine. She asked me, What's your name? <laughs> They're skilled. Hey, hey, hey. Then I paused. You can see with the facial expression, it's not someone who needs help this one. Yeah. This someone is someone who's, who has fallen into a crash, this one. Oh, who, who, who has crash landed? Oh, who is Atulana? Atulama what? Amen. Then I said, uh, my name is Pilegi. Hey, Nagara, I didn't have to be Pilegi. But that's a nice name. <laughs> Since I know my name is not one of the nicest names you find, what is a family name that was named after some god? When someone tells you some nice, ah, you know the motive is something. Yeah. I said, hmm, it's so nice. He said, yes. She said, can I have your number? I asked her why. 
No, so that you can give me a call you know, around. Are you from Pretoria? I said yes. Around we go for them phone. Like oh, we move. Eh, we move around. Then we can hang out. In Gero, no, to a fellow in Gero. I said yes. Sorry, my sister, I cannot give you my number. Because I was sorry when she never spoke of her number. Yeah, I'm a past actually. What's it? Neither, neither you move out. And I pray for people. If you like a rapper, whatever you're going through right now, you can tell me. I can pray with you right now. Just for some reason, we want to know if you're long gone. Rapper, I know you're like this. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Please forgive me, please. No, it's fine. Do you want me to pray? I can pray with you. No, 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 no a marriage is not for running away from last. Jelo, what are you doing? Because the linyalo aso chavela me ebara niwo di kanyo. Because you'll get into those into the marriage that never of last, ne? Obane o tata na kanyalo kadi kanyo watu we. And after you get married, they become tax ten. Jelo, what's no yala na mnyaki ba kate? Hallelujah. Amen. So marriage is not where you run away from last. Jelo, linyalo aso mo chavela o di kanyo. But marriage is a symbolic act. Jelo, linyalo kore ki tiro. Yeah, of redemption. That shows Christ and the church. That's why we don't meet according to beauty. We don't meet according to six pack. The brother has six pack. The brother has has, has broad shoulders. You see, after that brother is fed. Brought you an example. Six months you are here, six stomach from from six pack to six stomach. You are here with your own. It depends on your six. Oh, the car around. Give me brother, you is an example. You do not interpret that one. Oh, brother, you example. So from six pack, what do I want to pack? To six big bags. What do I want to pack? Just six. So you realize that if you marry because of those appearance, you know whether work and yala. When it's no more than that, love is not there. So, but we marry because of character. When I approach a sister, it's because I see the character of Christ in her. And I see myself because the character of Christ that I should see is the character that is in me also. And I'm redeeming back. That character which is part of me. Because that's what Jesus came to do. He did not come to redeem one to one. He came to redeem those with the elements that we spoke about in the beginning. Praise be the name of the Lord. Amen. But for those that he redeemed, when they are sick, they know that. In in our father, there's an element of being Jehovah Jireh. Jehovah Rapha, God our healer. We didn't even move for this one. When I've got need of things, in my father, there's an element of being Jehovah Jireh, the provider. Because the element in me are compatible to what is in him. We just draw. 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 So brother, don't marry her because of nice figure. Well, my brother, can you not have a girl a figure booty? Nice chest, ladies chest. Eh, lima tola ma booty. After what, baby? Eh, come on, I'm gonna do it. That chest is gonna change. Lima tola what, go for trouble. You still have to love it the same. Oh, so I'm too much trouble. Oh, I'm a little bit. My wife is smiling. Hey, you still have to love it the same. Oh, so I'm too much trouble. Oh, I'm. Then the body is gonna change. Your love has to even grow stronger. Because it's changing because of your children. Because of the seed that she brought for you. Hey, you are not the same. Hey, hey, you must go tight. You must do this. You must do this. Whose seed was she carrying that made her to be like that? You must love her even more. No. Pray with the name of the Lord. Amen. Because she's a type of the church. Where the church is impregnated. 
with the Holy Ghost. And it is influenced by that Holy Ghost. Because when a woman is pregnant, the influence of what she is comes from within. She will want to eat green mangoes that she never ate before. She will stop eating certain things that she used to love. Mm -hmm. You will drive around 12 o'clock, brother, looking for things you never, you never bought before. Mm -hmm. So you have to understand that there's influence of her type now. So when the bride is pregnant with the Holy Ghost, what she eats is influenced by what is in her heart. Pray with the name of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So we have to be careful, children of God. Amen. So our lives has to influence by the weight. If it's anything outside the weight, reject it. Hallelujah. Amen. Even if it's your wife influencing you away from the weight, you reject it. Even if it's brother Malachi influencing you away from the way you reject it. You know there was a there was a man called Naboth. In the Bible. And this man was, was living under the reign of Ahab. Ahab was a, the, the wife of Jezebel. The husband of Jezebel. And you know Jezebel. Jezebel is the only woman who made a, who, who will make up and we have record of her. So she's the mother of makeups. She invented makeup. So everyone else that do those things that are the daughter of Jezebel. So Jezebel, Jezebel God hated her so much that she fed it to dogs. So sisters, don't let the appearance of Jezebel be your influence. But let the influence of Rahab, Ruth, Hannah, and on and on you go. Yes, Amen. Let them be your influence. So this Naboth had a vineyard. He was a bookman. So this this one vineyard, he got it from his fathers. We They left it to him as an inheritance. Now the king Ahab approved this man. And said, Naboth, I want to go one yard. I will give you the value of that yard. And even give you something better. And this man replied, And said, I will not do that. God forbid me not to do it. Uh, 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 he said, It's an inheritance. That I got from my fathers. Now this man then left, he went home. And he was he was he was he was in pain, he was sad, he was worried. He was not even eating this man. The Bible says so. You do not eat bread nor drink wine, do anything, he was just sleeping there. The Bible then came the wife. You see, brother, you don't listen to everything that the wife said. You felt her. Amen. They are our advisors. But when it comes to spiritual things, you feel it. Now, I don't say, no, you brother, you must go home. And the wife says, no, my husband, you cannot buy this car. Let's buy this one because of this. You say, no, no, brother, like I said, I must not listen to you. No, I don't do like that. I mean, when coming to critical spiritual decisions, because God is going to ask you, not the wife. 
Sarah loved God said to Abraham, why did your wife love? Hallelujah. Amen. And even not you don't discuss everything with your wife also. I fight with brother Tho today. Then I tell my wife, yeah, brother, what's on tin? He did this, he did this, he did that. Tomorrow, Brother Lou comes and apologizes. We are happy again, we are talking. The wife is there by the corner. Look at him, he's smiling. He did this, then, this, then, this to my husband. So we, we protect them in certain matters. Because they are emotional beings. Hallelujah. They are sensitive. And they are a type of the church. That's why Christ always speaks for us. Through the blood. So now, the, the woman came, Jezebel. And said, hey, My husband, what's wrong with you? You don't eat. So, then he said, hey, Is this man Naboth? Hey, this number of Muna, I want the vineyard because it's close to me. I want to plant herbs. He's refusing to sell it to me. Then the wife said, When well, is the other one? Musaji, are you fool? Stupid. You don't know that you're a king? Oh, 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 well, because somebody, a nobody, you cry because of a nobody, does not want to give you the land. I know who for Nana. Listen, don't worry. Sleep there, I'll sort it out. She wrote a letter. Send the letter to the elders that were in the area of Naboth. Yeah, in the city where Naboth dwelleth. And instructed them to accuse him of blasphemy and stone him. Blasphemy. And stone him. And that was done, and Naboth died. And she went to the husband and said, I, I, I sorted it out. You see, the reason I'm saying this story is because you have to be careful who's advising you. If it's, if it's outside the way, do you reject it? Because the things we say to one another is an influence. So we have to be careful what we say. Some of the things we say to one another rest eternal destination of one another. Hallelujah. Amen. So we have to be careful, children of God. We are influencing one another. We are influencing one another by life, by speech. Even I'm telling you, even the way we appear and the way we dress, you influence somebody. Just the way you dress, there's somebody who's watching you and petting you after you. And you're not even aware. Another, I, I, I was in so to the other time. So, Brother Steve comes to me. I say, Brother Malachi. You know that young man. Hey, he's doing push-ups every day, that man. Hey, he's eating punching back. He's eating punching back. I want to be the size of Brother Malachi. So you realize that you are not even aware that even if small things, there's a young man that is looking at you. There's a young girl that is looking at you, sister. So be careful of the things you do. Even in your house, your children are looking at you. And you're going to have to answer one day for that. If you don't pray, your children know that my father does not pray. If you don't read the Bible in the house, your children know. Your children know my father, he never throws himself in the room alone and just, just alone and throws himself there. Yeah, they won't say, but they're, 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 just, they're just watching. One day when they're older, they'll be preaching, they'll say, nah, I've never seen my father pray. 
The other day they will be preaching and they will say, I've never seen my father pray. Or left himself alone. So we have to be a good influence to our children. We have to have a family altar, place a family. You have to run yourself alone in the room. Pray for your children. Pray for the church. Pray for leadership. Pray for your wife. Yeah. Pray for everything. Because you are the head. You are the influence. Even the sister. You pray for your family. You must have a long time with God. Hallelujah. Amen. We, are, we, are, we are passing here. We are passing here. Brother Brandon speaks about uh, 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 that scripture that says, if you look at a woman and last day you have committed adultery in your heart. So you became an influence towards what that guy. So that's why we have to be careful about everything. We environment we influence people there. We must live right where we are. You know we were driving back to work on Thursday. <laughs> Using a military car. So we've got to a toll gate. There are two cars in front of us. The one that is to pay is not paying. They, they are just waiting there. We don't know what's wrong. So we are waiting, we are waiting, and we see him trying to reverse. So now everyone is hooting and things like that. So I'm with my commander in the vehicle. So he instructs the driver to reverse. And the busy is speaking negative. How can how can this one? Didn't you know there's toll gate here? Mm -hmm. How can you not come with mine and things like Anna, that? I just kept quiet. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because what, if you have not been there, you have I just kept quiet. Because if you have Because if you have not been through something, you don't understand. Me. And it's easy to talk however you want. So we must be careful what we say and how we comment about people's situations. Hallelujah. Amen. So I said, oh, no, no, don't reverse. I, I took 16 rands. And I jumped out. So I, I asked the guy, hello, sir, are you, how are you? He's a young man, a young African man. He said, I'm fine. I said, Are you well? Are you sorted? He said, No. He's pointing the phone, he's pointing everywhere. He was the phone. Then the, the, te the, the teller said, No, he's not fine. He doesn't have money. Then I said, It's fine. I paid for you. Mm. And he said, thank you, thank you, thank you, sir, thank you. Then I said, just remember one thing, do this to somebody else. Yes. Remember one thing, do this to somebody else. Then I went back to the car. So when when I got to the car, I just kept quiet still. Now the guy who was a teller there, now uh, that He's full of uh, township life. Well, even when he speaks, you can see he's uh, <laughs> And my colleagues were happy, my command was happy. I must tell them, I must tell them. So the colleague in the command <laughs> So as we drove off, then I started ministering to them. As you see, it's easy to just make statements and uh, you don't know the situation. Common sense tells no man drives to the toll gate knowing that he doesn't have money. I've been in that situation where I changed bags in the morning and the wallet was in the other bag. I realized when I'm approaching the toll gate that my wallet I stopped by the island. I was looking for coins and you know just trying to get whatever I can get. A truck driver came. 
Lalu mana teraka akan set ayu fancy? Arna ulu kili mana? I said no. Karena aku yang suklu. I don't have money. Aku nak challenge. He gave me hundred rand. Hey, kamu faham hundred rand? Then. Then you have to pay for patel and give me change the other side. Oh, pay change the other side. So I paid, passed, and I gave him change. Then I said, thank you, sir. <laughs> then he said, just remember one thing. Oh, One day do it to somebody else. So I, I was telling them this. So we have to be careful what we say and our comments. And even our behavior. Leonardo, my Torarina. Yeah, because the best soccer players are the are the spectators. So if you have never been in a situation, Hallelujah. Amen. Because the things you say they influence people. Hallelujah. Amen. So we will continue on this subject. It's, 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 a, it's a wonderful subject. It's a, it's a lengthy subject. We still have to talk about those kings, how they influence one another. On and on we go like that. So God is blessed to us.